Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, we're taking a water filtration pitcher and looking at it from the inside out in the hopes of answering two questions. Hey, a special welcome to anyone who's finding Dialed In DIY for the first time today. And a hearty welcome back to anyone who's been with me before. Thanks for returning. You know I love taking things apart. I really enjoy finding out what's inside of stuff, what makes things work, how they tick, why they do what they do but specifically to find out what parts are inside of something that I can use to make a new project out of. In fact, a lot of my projects, I learn what I want to make in the future on something based upon something I've taken apart when I've learned how it operates and what it does. It gives me inspiration to come up with something different. But today I'm going to do something different. I've got this Brita water filter pitcher that I've been thinking about for a while because I've wanted to create my own water filter and wanted to see if I could model something off of the filter inside of this. So I was going to take this apart to answer that question and also to answer a second question that's been nagging at me. I've heard about people hacking their old Brita filters and refilling them and I wanted to see if that made sense. Number one, if it was possible. Number two, if it was even going to be worthwhile. I think the answer to that was a little bit more complex than I expected so I'm breaking this down into two videos. This first one, what's inside the filter? We're going to tear this thing apart and number two, We'll come back in a future video and answer that second question, which I'm going to give you a little teaser on right now. The answer is yes and no. You can refill it, but should you? Come back in the future and check it out. Let's break into it. If you've not worked with one of these water filtration pitchers before, one important thing to note is that inside of each is a removable filter. This is what you replace after you've been using it for a long time, and this is what we're going to dig into. I'm starting by taking away the extra plastic around the top of the filter cartridge itself. Then I'm going to slice right into the edge so that I can lift this top part up so that you can see the mesh covering over the top of the actual filter cartridge, the inside part that filters the water itself. The mesh at the top here plays an important role because it allows the water to get into the filtration material without letting the filtration material come back out the top. Because the section holding the mesh in place is sealed to the body of the filter cartridge, I actually had to start trimming away some extra plastic and then sliced right through the side again to remove this top. What you're going to find inside looks like it was scooped right off of a black sand beach somewhere. The black stuff in here is activated carbon, which I was expecting to find once I got inside of this. However, the light colored stuff I wasn't quite expecting and that is actually an ion exchange resin bead that is utilized for another purpose that we're going to get into much further in the next video. You'll see at the bottom there's also additional mesh material, but this one has a tighter weave which allows for better water control flowing out and better contact time with the water and the filtration material. The design itself is quite simple, but the material inside is a bit more complex. In fact, there's even more to that carbon material than meets the eye, and we'll talk a lot about that in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please press like and then subscribe. There will be more dialed in DIY to come.